Greetings students, I'm going to show you how to add an interesting mechanic to your game. Um, if you have a ball object like one of our earlier things and it bounces against the walls, I'm going to show you how you can click and swipe the mouse and have the mouse swipe actually add velocity to the ball in a particular direction. So if I swipe it this way I want it to go left, if I swipe it that way I want it to go right. All right. So if I want to change the speed and direction of the ball, I know I'll need to be changing the x speed and y speed. If I want that to happen when I swipe, I know I'll need some mouse functions. Here underneath draw, you'll want to add two mouse functions, mouse pressed and mouse released. You might not want to actually try and type at the same time that you're listening. You might want to watch a couple of minutes to understand what's happening, then pause it and type it yourself. All right, so here's mouse pressed and mouse released. Mouse pressed runs exactly once when I first press the mouse down. Mouse released runs exactly once when I let the mouse go after I pressed it. Here's the idea about what I want to do. When I press the mouse down, I want to save the coordinates where the mouse is. And then, as I'm swiping, my mouse is going to move. And then when I release, I'm going to measure and see how far did my mouse go between when I pressed it and when I released it. If it went, like let's say it was at x equals 100 when I pressed it, and I swiped this way, and when I released it, it said x equals 200. That means it traveled 100 pixels horizontally while I was swiping. I want to take that horizontal distance it traveled and use that to change the x speed of the ball. All right, well, if I'm going to save where the mouse was when I pressed it, I'll need some variables. So I'll say int uh, mouse x pressed and mouse y pressed. And I'm just going to write a note to myself, coordinates where the mouse was when I pressed it. All right, so down here in mouse pressed, I can say mouse x pressed equals mouse x, because that's mouse x is where the mouse actually is. And I can say mouse y pressed equals mouse y. So again, this runs only once when I first press the mouse, and I'm taking the mouse coordinates, which are updated all the time, and I'm saving them into a variable. So that way, when mouse x and mouse y change as I'm swiping, I will have stored the values where they were when I pressed it down. All right, here we are in mouse released. So in mouse released, I want to know how far did the mouse travel in the x direction while I was swiping. I'm going to call that dx. It's going to be equal to where the mouse is right now, minus where the mouse was when I pressed it down. And I can do the same thing for y. All right. Um, these are the values that I want to use to change my x speed and my y speed. If, uh, if I click and I swipe, it's normal for me to swipe by about, I don't know, 100 to 200 pixels. But I don't want to change my x speed to be 200 pixels every time step because the time steps happen about 20 times a second. So if I'm adding 200 pixels 20 times a second, the ball is going to shoot off the screen really fast. So I want to say x speed equals x speed plus dx divided by something. You could do divided by 10 or divided by 20 or divided by 15. I'm going to divide it approximately by 20, and we'll see where that gets us. dy divided by 20. All right. Oops, am I running it already? All right, so let's run it and see what it looks like. So now if I swipe it, so that seems to be working.